Hey everyone and welcome back to another bucket plugin tutorial. Today we're going to be getting into more advanced config.yml techniques and making a bug reporting plugin using these. So what we need to do is use our plugin template. If you haven't seen my last video I explained how to download and install it. So we'll call this, well I'll call it tutorial 10. So it's appeared up here actually. So what we'll do is we'll go in and we don't need a listener class for this so we can just exit out there delete the listener and delete and we'll also just delete its reference in here um we'll just rename our main class uh, we'll call it i don't know bug report and we'll rename the compilation unit to bug report.java so what we're going to be doing is allowing players to report bugs that they encounter but they can only report one bug at a time until the admin or the op removes them and we'll also be making a command where the op can view all of the bugs and then delete them as they're fixed so we'll need this little command thing here so our first command will be letting the player submit a bug so we'll just make that bug and we'll make it so they report the bug by doing bug and then after that they write their bug report in and we'll be saving this to a config file the more advanced config stuff would be adding and removing and looking at all the config entries so we'll be getting into that today all you should do is make a reference to the config file itself so we'll just do file configuration remember to do control space to bring up this menu with all these things to pick and then just press enter on the one you want so file configuration config equals this dot get config and this will just make it easy for us to reference this variable name uh, we'll also bring this player 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 sender thing out because we'll be using a few commands so instead of repeating that in the command so what we need to do now is make sure that the command is of the required length so because we need the bug name and then the report the argument length has to be longer than one or equal to one so if args dot length is greater than or equal to one although i don't know why you submit a bug with one word but anyway you can change it how you want so once this is insured we can do something in here but what you always want to do with the command is you always want to return something at least so if they do this wrong you want to tell the player that you know you've submitted the bug report wrong so we can just do an else player dot send message and we can do it in red that's normally good uh, check color dot red and enter your bug report after the slash bug command and that'll work just nicely and what we need to do now is because all the arguments in the command are singular like they're all their own unique argument we need to bind them all together into one string so we'll just make an empty string here called bug message and we need to add to this by iterating through the arguments and adding it to the bug message so we'll just do a for each loop so string arg to the args up here and this will just give us all the args in sequence and we can just do bug message equals bug message plus arg and then we'll just go through all the arguments and make the complete message out of it so now we've established that what we need to do is make sure that they can only submit one bug and if they've submitted or try to submit another one it'll tell them no you can't do that so now we need to run through the config and make sure the name isn't there. So we can just do this by an if statement. We'll just do a little comment here first. So we'll be handling the arguments down here. If config dot, oops, dot contains so player dot get name, and we're going to be writing their names as a lowercase string. So there's no you know issues there with casing because this has to be exact to lowercase and we need to put an exclamation mark at the start because that'll mean the opposite so it means if they're not in the config we'll open up here um, then we want to set them in the config with their message so simply config.set and here we do 
the path to where we're saving it. So we're just going to save it as their name and also to lowercase, of course. And we'll just assign the bug message to be written with their name. And then we can send them a message. So you want to put it in green because it's successful. Chat color dot green bug reported successfully and that should be good and we also want to save the configs so anytime you sort of manipulate the config it's wise just to save it so if they are in the config what we need to do is tell them they have already submitted the bug and you have to wait until it's been removed we'll just do an else statement after this if statement and then just say play.send message da -da -da -da, chat color dot red because it's something's wrong and just say bug already submitted that command is all good to go now so what we need to do for our next command is allowing the op to see the bugs that are in the config so we'll just copy this little thing up here for the command to make sure we're at the right space in the document yep so do that and make sure you return true at the bottom oops turn true all right we'll make the command see bugs that's fine. Um, you want to make sure they're an operator. Otherwise, if you don't make sure of that, then anyone can look at the bug report and that could be a bit of a problem. So player dot is op with the correct capitalization and we'll go in here. So we need to iterate through each bug report that is in the config. So we'll just do a uh, comment up here first to say what this command is doing. So viewing all bugs and it's why so probably do one up here as well so we'll just say this is um, reporting a bug all right and we'll just write one here iterating through each bug report in config all right we can do another for each loop for string call it key uh, for config dot get keys and we'll do this false so this is going to look through each key or term in the config that we've defined above. And I'll go through the config file at the end to show the hierarchy of how it all works. For each key, we want to send the player a message. So we'll just send, you know, a series of messages to the operator of all the bug reports. So we'll make it in this one in yellow, I guess. And we'll add the key. So that's the player's name that submitted the bug report. We'll add that at the start so the operator knows who sent it and then we'll do a little colon and leave a space and then after that we'll just add config.getString so that's getting the bug report itself using that given key which is the player's name. So now the op will get a series of messages for every bug report but what if there are no bugs? So your server's doing well. What we need to do is if config dot get keys false again dot is empty so if there's nothing in there then we'll just send the player a message to say we'll put it in green because yay there's no bugs green no bugs found but if they're not an operator we also want to tell them no you can't use this and look at all the bugs in my server so we'll just send a, ooh, a red message again. You must be an op to use this command. Ooh, that's good. And that's fine. That command will work just fine. So we'll copy this again. And what we'll be doing now is making a command for the op to delete bugs after they've looked at them. Go on the outside. Yep. And return true at the bottom. And now we're in. Do another comment. I uh, will say deleting a bug. Deleting a bug. To delete a bug, we have to remove it from the config. We also have to make sure that there's an argument for this command. After that, you'll write the player's name to delete from the config. So if args.length equals one, because it has to be one, has to be one name. Uh, and player dot is op which is obviously required 
You're also going to make sure that the config contains that name. If config.contains, so that'll be args zero because it's coming in as an array. So the element zero is the first element in the array. So that'll be just the name. And we also have to make sure it's too lowercase because we've written all the names as a lowercase name. All right, so we'll open this here. And to remove something, what you do is you just set it to null. So like before, we'll set a string path and a value, but we'll make the value equal to null. So that'll just delete it entirely. The path will just be the player's name, which is the same as arg0 as specified. So what we need to do now is we've edited the config. We want to save config. So just like that. Um, we'll send the player a message that the bug's been deleted. So, jackcolor.green, bug deleted successfully. And if, uh, oops, and if the bug is not found, obviously you want to say, player not found. Else, player, I'll just copy this. Red, bug, or player not found and one more we got one if statement left alone so we'll say incorrect argument or you're not an op send message check color dot red uh, incorrect arguments slash invalid permission if you're not an op so what we need to do now is add all these commands to the plugin dot yml what we'll do is we'll copy this and paste oops, paste this twice. So we've got a command called bug. So we'll do that one first. Bug description. Uh, we've got them up here really. Reporting uh, bug. And you can change the usage. I'll skip over that for now. So we've got viewing all bugs, which is C bugs. C bugs. Uh, viewing all bugs and deleting a bug and I forgot to rename this one whoops so we'll call it Dell bug delete bug Dell bug remember to rename everything so we've called this bug report obviously the name can be different to the main class but I've just called them the same thing so we'll save that and we'll refresh it with F5 and we'll export it to our plugins folder so I've already got it set up here finish save all good to go and now we can test it out in game all right so here we are and we can test out our plugins right now we can do help bug report and there's our three commands so what we need to do is just submit a bug slash bug and then after that bug report so hello YouTube it's not a bug but whatever bug reported successfully so if I do another bug now uh, bug already submitted I've already submitted the bug and now if we want to see bugs slash see bugs so there's my bug and see it's in lowercase so that's all good but notice actually that there's no space between our arguments so we need to go back into here and where we've got our argument thing here we want to just add a space at the end and something else we need to do that I've just realized is we need to set this to lowercase as well when we're deleting a bug. So it sets the lowercase to null as well. So we can just export this. We'll export this here. Bug report. Yep. All right. So here we are. If we go to see bugs, there's no bugs found because there's nothing in there yet. So if we go bug and we'll just leave it like that. Enter your bug report after the bug command. If we do bug, blah, bug reported successfully. And if we try to submit another bug, bug already submitted. So what we need to do to have a look at our bugs was slash C bugs. And there's me saying blah, blah, blah. Um, if we do C bugs and something else, it will still work. We've just made it. So regardless, if you write something after it, it won't make a difference. But for deleting a bug, so del bug, if we just leave it like that, incorrect arguments, invalid permission. So if we do it properly now, del bug, first flames, 
bug deleted successfully. If we delete a bug when there's nothing there, player not found. So I'll just set a bug again. So the and we'll save all for the server. And then we'll have a look at what's generated. So if we go into plugins, go into bug report, and look at the config here, edit with notepad. So you can see I've submitted that gibberish. So if I write something else, this is another person's bug report. So I can write, I don't know, Notch, and he's written, Hi world, I have no idea. Um, and Jeb has written, blah. And we'll save that and pop back in. We'll reload and then do C bugs. And as you can see, they're all there. And I can just delete one. Dell bug, Jeb. Have a look again. And Jeb's gone. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was enjoyable and informative. Let me know in the comments what sort of plugins you'd like to see next. Like the video if you enjoyed it and have a great day.